Games, you know it's ultimate. Hey everybody, it's Tommy T with Marlon Greenwood, linebacker for the Miami Dolphins and Houston Texans. And Marlon, like a lot of NFL players, you have a, a foundation that you work with. So tell us a little bit about that. Yes, uh, I have the, the Marlon Green Foundation is a leadership and mentorship program for socioeconomic disadvantaged youth and adolescents. Uh, we're based here in Greater Las Vegas. Also, I do a, a camp in my hometown, Freeport. Um, that's where everything started for me. And for the program, is we do free football camps for the kids. We bring in the NFL guys, the footballers, to bring them in. But um, we utilize that as an opportunity to mentor to them because we know the kids these days, they need leadership, they need guidance, they need direction so they don't get on the wrong path. Freeport, Long Island in New York, right? Yeah, Freeport, Long Island. Yep. Okay. You know, sometimes I say Freeport and people think it's uh, Freeport, Bahamas. <laughs> yeah, 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 because you, ha yeah, you have the accent and everything, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, So you, you, that's where you started your career in Long Island in high school, right? Yes. And I, I started, uh, um, I'm originally from Jamaica, you may, in the case you couldn't tell, but I wanted to make that distinction with the Baham. Uh, came to the States when I was 11. Since I was five years old, I was being in Jamaica, my, my goal was to help my family. I didn't tell anyone about it, didn't tell anyone of my family members, and I didn't know how I was gonna do that. Uh, my father came to the States. Uh, he sent for all of us um, in 1989, came over here, lived in Freeport, and I played soccer coming from Jamaica. And, and I talked to my father and I told him that, you know, I wanna be successful. And my father told me to focus on my education and uh, which I was already doing good in school already, but I really focused this time, make sure that I was making the honor roll, a high honor roll each marking period, because I wanted to become a doctor. Then in ninth grade, I had a gym teacher by the name of Russ Sellen that got me involved in wrestling and, and football. He was the assistant wrestling coach, but he was the head football coach. And, and, and from there, after playing football my junior year, I got offered a full scholarship to go to Syracuse University because of Coach Sellen. Mm -hmm. That's great. And so then you went on to play in the NFL with the Dolphins, oh, yeah, the Texans. You had an excellent career in the NFL. Man, absolutely. You know, um, and this, the inspiration of the, the foundation is because uh, uh, Coach Sellen, my father, you know, me having the, the desire in my heart to help my family and not knowing how I was going to achieve that and that coming through by the way of Coach Sellen giving me the, the direction of, uh, of football because he knew about what football offered, offered to individuals in the U.S. And I got the scholarship, went up to Syracuse, started 48 consecutive games at Syracuse, was team captain my senior year, got my degree in physical therapy, got drafted by the Miami Dolphins, started as a rookie, started four years for the Dolphins. Then when I signed with the Houston Texans, um, that's when I was able to fulfill my childhood dream of helping my family. I have seven brothers and four sisters, so that was, it was a big deal, you know? So you're not just helping your family now, now you're helping, you know, kids, you're helping the youth in our, in our, in our cities, which is fantastic. And you have an acronym that you use for the foundation called, what is that acronym? Uh, yeah, actually, uh, it's, the, it's in our mission. Our mission is, uh, is to raise up youth to become successful, socially responsible citizens through mentorship imparted to encourage the realization of their full, full potential. Believe it and you will achieve it. And uh, we start out with raise up because um, raise, raise up stand for something. Um, the raise, uh, the R and the raise stand for responsibility. The A stands for awareness. I is for inspiration. S for success. E is for ethics. And the up is for uniquely proclaimed because once they establish the raise, um, they're not uniquely proclaimed because they've done it themselves, and that's what we try to instill in the youth it's fantastic. here. Uh, so we begin with that then. Uniquely proclaimed. Uniquely proclaimed. That's great. I've heard that before. <laughs> you, that's great. You've, you, you've done this. You've arrived. You, you've done yourself. Because we're not trying to be there by, by their side the entire time. We want them to become men of their own so they can become mentors and mentor bring someone else up because the, the world is gonna be forever ch turning and, we, and we're looking at the future to be able to make the future a better place for, for the kids and the next generation to come. When is the next uh, event for this uh, foundation? Next event uh, uh, for the foundation, uh, January 30th, we have 50 kids that we're bringing to pole position raceway um, from leaders in training. Uh, they feel like a go-kart place is a way that I uh, try to uh, um, 
you know, to reward the kids for their hard work and, and their dedication. They've given them working hard. And one of the things that we're trying to in implement, normally they do it on a Saturday, but I want to bring uh, the Metro Police over there to be able to to um, demonstrate what happens when you get pulled over by the cops. These oh, are that's fantastic. These are juniors and seniors, even though yeah. they're having, they're having fun, at least have have them come in and demonstrate what to expect and what what not to expect because uh, um, um, so they can get educated that way. And that's one of the things that the foundation uh, we try to do is try to have different, have the kids exposed to different type of uh, scenarios, different type of organizations that they wouldn't normally be exposed to. Like we try to, um, to bring more awareness with uh, recycling. This organization is, is from a company called Rethink, which they recycle water bottles uh, into, into T-shirts. And they want, and part of the foundation is they, they try to go around and give more awareness to the, um, the, the pollution that's in the world. You know, in the, in the, in the, in the ocean, uh, I believe, I'm not sure where it is, so I don't want to say, but there's a, a landfill, like in the ocean, a side, at the sides of Texas, where there's just garbage up on top of garbage, which um, it's, it's sad, you know? And you have to wonder, we have to bring awareness to that because it started from somewhere, so we have to reverse that. You know, so we start with the youth and educating them on the different things and focus on education, the importance of staying in school, staying on the right path, um, uh, being good citizens, and just being an overall good human being. Marlon Greenwood, <laughs> for that foundation, it's called Raise yeah. Up? Uh, well, the, the foundation is called the, the Marlon Greenwood Foundation. Okay. And the, uh, the mission is uh, where the Raise Up Father and Raise Up Youth to become successful, socially responsible citizens through mentorship imparted to encourage the realization of their full potential. And to find more information on the Marlon Greenwood Foundation, you can log on to our website at mg52.org, mg52.org. Uh, for more information, you can donate, you can check out all of our, our events there, and you can find our contact information as well and see how to get in contact with us. Thank you for doing that. We appreciate oh, yeah. that, Marlon. That's oh, awesome. Man. It's a great foundation. Thank you so much. Marlon Greenwood, everybody. <laughs>